it's somewhere off of PCH. It could be anywhere from Huntington Beach all the way to Oxnard. We're in the corner of I don't know and yeah. where you at. We're not allowed to show any of the cars in the show, but we can show the cars on the street. Yeah. Because that's free reign, man. Yeah. Coming and going. And here is a uh, Shelby 350 GT, right? Is that what that is? Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. Jet. Oh, I mean, look at that car. Look top. at the color of that car. Unbelievable. GT500. what we're doing today it's been kind of a weird day of not a lot it's gonna be raining soon but we're up at Pepperdine at the top pinpoint of Pepperdine at the infinity pool pretty cool up here it's really cool yeah the view is awesome let me show you guys Waterproof, I hope. Does it still work? Blue? Oh, not, yeah. not many people would risk their phone for a vlog, and uh, except this guy. Yeah, it works. works. Still waterproof. Nice. consistently it's a very silvery day so we decided uh, technically Kathy decided on days like this she likes to do things that kind of indoor things but not indoor here indoor somewhere else so we're gonna go see a movie we're gonna go see a dog's purpose it's gonna make us cry pretty sure you look cozy I know two jackets and a top I think I have another top on that too. Turquoise? Turquoise? You got anything else? Probably my underwear. The Mazda CX-9 has gone back and they've brought us the Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid. It's white. <music> 2017 Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid. No, we're driving on electric right now. It's it's cool. We're, we are driving 100% electric at the moment. But you know, there's one thing actually cooler than this car, and I got to bring it up. My hat. <sighs> you blew my joke. <laughs> that was my joke. Thank you very much. That's the end of the vlog. No, I'm just kidding. It's not the end of the vlog. But yes, your hat. Your hat is is just freaking cool, especially because it was like. Uh, well, they sell for 12 bucks, but... I got it free yeah. because Nina's my friend. You're special. I am. You're special. This new car, which we just got, the Mazda CX-9 went back. That was pretty cool. Yeah. But this this uh, plug-in hybrid, I always like getting electric cars because they're electric and you don't have to go to the gas station, which is like a waste of time. But not only that, you save the environment. That's right. And now uh, you get to go to the movies. Quick update, our son Sean is in Atlanta with his wife Isla and they are working on the movie 
Well, he's working on the movie Black Panther. Yep. And he's sculpting these rock walls uh, to be Giant. to be blown up. You know, it's a Marvel movie, so pretty much everything in a Marvel movie gets destroyed. So that's going to happen. But he said that um, there's another movie that's gearing up right after this oh, that's right. that he might get on. Quick tip. Godzilla, um, you know, another destruction movie. Uh, what is it with destruction movies in Hollywood? It's nothing new. Oh no, definitely not. But we did happen to... I worked uh, on Airport 79. <laughs> Kathy worked on Airport 79. What else did you work on? Well, Cujo. Yeah. And, uh, this woman I built Cujo. On... Did you guys know that? This woman built Cujo. That's freaking crazy. Island of Dr. Moreau. Yep. Not the most recent one, the one before that. Right. That's right. pretty awesome. Uh, and speaking of Cujo, for some reason they couldn't get the dog to ram his head into the side of the car, so you had to build one. That's right. Yes. I wouldn't have a license plate that said doof wagon. No. Yours just says you, fireball. People, you gotta think about your license plates. If, if there is a chance that it gets misconstrued as something else, then people will remember that something else. You know? Not what you think it is. Because Doof Wagon, that's not cool, man. And they're actually filming a movie right in front of the theater. At the movies. At the movies. Filming a movie at the movie. Right. And that movie will eventually end up at the movies, and we'll probably go see that too. <laughs> you get to see a little behind the scenes of what's going on. Looks like they're shooting a commercial. Don't think it's a movie. There's nobody here. There's nowhere to sit. The dog's purpose is empty. Got the whole place to ourselves. It's like a private screening. Really good that it's a private screening too because I'm probably gonna ball my eyes out of this movie. <laughs> I know she is. There is a reason I'm wearing my glasses now. <laughs> I was a blubbering fool in that movie. Oh my god. Uh, it was really good. Oh my god. It was a dog's so purpose good. on a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, there's a 10, but there's some people that just shouldn't see it. Yeah, you know what? If you're if you're super sensitive to... But I am. You are, and you were a blubbering fool the whole time. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I put, it might as well put a bowl below you. <laughs> I know. It was really good. It's definitely worth seeing. necessarily that exciting. It doesn't mean that every day is not cool, because every day is cool. If you've been watching the vlog here for more than maybe just a few episodes, you know that at the end of each vlog, I try to come in and talk to you guys a little bit about something that may help improve your life in some way. It could be a cool car. It could be a cool car show. It could be a pair of shoes like these. Can you see that? Check it out. Wait, hold on. Even better. Yeah. Now why would I buy a pair of shoes like this? Why would I even consider buying a pair of shoes? Hold on. 
there it is. I hope that doesn't give you an epileptic seizure. Why would I buy a pair of shoes like this? Because these are the shoes I'm gonna wear for Wills and Waves, February 19th. They're sick. I try to talk to you guys a little bit about things that, that based on my experience, things that I've done, things that I've screwed up on, and I've screwed up on a lot. In fact, I'm probably the king of screw-ups. I'm probably the king of making mistakes, but I don't look at them as being negatives. I look at them as being absolutely freaking awesome because when you make a mistake, you get a chance to learn, and then you get a chance to do it differently next time. Now, I grew up with five kids. I mean, five siblings, four siblings. This is me, and this is, well, this is probably me. And then these are my brothers and sisters. And when, when one of them got in trouble, I learned that I don't, I don't have to do it that way. I can do it a different way, unless he tried it that way, and he tried it that way, and she tried it that way, and I found out what the right way is. This way, the pinky way. And through that process of elimination, over a period of years, of decades, I learned how to approach a problem and mistakes, to succeed and to move forward. Now, one of the things that I cultivated for a very, very long time, and Kathy also has cultivated, is a, our sense of visualization, our sense of imagination. And both of us are extremely strong in that. And I don't mind saying, I don't mind, you know, touting, tooting, or, or, or pushing my own horn when it comes to that, because I know that I'm very strong. It's probably one of the strongest assets I have to be able to visualize something uh, creative and to bring that, that idea, that concept, into fruition. I learned that just through trial and error. I learned that through through making so many mistakes and correcting course. It's kind of like you're flying to Hawaii and you're constantly off course and, and the more you correct you you get to where you're going. Unless you don't know where you're going then you're never gonna get there. For a long time I coached my my son in soccer and his teams and every single year we won. We got in first place. It wasn't because we had a kick-ass soccer team. It wasn't because I was the world's best coach. Although I probably was. It was because I taught these kids and I learned myself how to see yourself successful, how to close your eyes and visualize yourself as being a success. And when you do that, something happens. Something amazing happens. What happens is, is that you pull all the energy of the universe into your idea. And as long as you can convince yourself of the truth of this vision, that you're so gung-ho, it's kind of like the, how the Patriots played the game. Now, I didn't watch the game, but anybody who succeeds and wins see themselves as a winner before, long before they get there. You have a car that you want to get or a car that you want to build and you have a vision for it. You know, it's why you hire illustrators to give yourself something concrete. But if you can see yourself driving it and how it feels amazing while you're driving it, then that's half the battle right there. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on your dreams. And don't listen to the Dr. Knows in the world. They're evil. And if you listen to them, you'll ruin the whole schlebang. Okay, quick switch. The As I mentioned, the Mazda has gone adios and the Hyundai Sonata plug-in hybrid is, is here. Is that a 16? That's a night, it's 2017. We're gonna be driving that car all week long. And if I do it right, I won't ever have to put a single drop of gas in it. Just electric the whole time. Rain is gonna be coming in. Once again, I got some interior projects that I'm working on for the next couple of days. Kathy's working on her kangaroo. It looks freaking awesome. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But until then, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're the captain of your ship, people. Get to it. We'll see you tomorrow.